Scott. And we're live. Hello, Land Geek community. How are we doing tonight? It's great to Mike, see you, Scott. Great to see you. Good to see you too. Good to see you too, sir. Mark wants to know what you're drinking. I, I'm having the same as last week. A little Maker's Mark with a whiskey round. And I'm How having you, a Mike? special. A special mix of whiskey that my wife prepared, and I don't know what's in it. So um, hopefully the show goes well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great to see you, Mark. Thanks for asking. I'll get Mark here asking, what's up, fellas? Well, it's great to be back. We're here on uh, a nightcap of the Land Geek guys. I think last week went pretty well, Scott. What do you, what do you think? I, th- I thought it was great. I had a lot of fun with you, and uh, we got some good feedback from the community. Episode two. So. Right. And we have a couple things in store tonight. A couple, um, shall we say, surprises? You can call them surprises if you want. We're going to have a surprise guest here in a little bit. Well, that's a surprise. Uh, Not a surprise, surprise anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know who it is, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, uh, and then, uh, yeah, stay tuned till the end because there's going to be some important info that uh, you folks are going to want to hear. So there you go. Scott, we talked so, last time. I'm going to stop talking because you're going to take the lead tonight, right? So, Well, that's what I was told by you, yes. And I, I just interrupted and took the lead back. So here we go. Begin. You're, you, you, I, I think you may be one of those folks that has a hard time letting other people take the lead. But here we go. Here we go. Back on topic. All right. So last week we talked about uh, – well, we talked about a lot, but you asked me – uh, what my big aha moment was, right? When I first right. felt that this was the ticket to something great, right? Correct. So, and, and you you also went into that a little bit, but I wanted to expand on that a little bit tonight. And I wanted to ask you, uh, like, what has this business done for you? I know last week you talked about getting out of credit card debt and paying for the wedding, but like, what kind of feelings has it provided you with or what kind of opportunities or what kind of, uh, what kind, what kind of uh, benefits have you gotten from this thing? And tell me how long you've been doing it too, by the way. Um, it's going on year four we're entering. So I think that's a multi-pronged question. Great question. So <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I think is down def- for you. Well, you said, what has it brought to me? What kind of things? I I mean, I could say experience-wise, I've been able to surround myself with some of the most incredible people that I think I've I've ever met. I mean, our community is so full of just successful people, you know, and when we go – my wife and I made a decision several years ago. We're going to go to all the boot camps, and the reason we go is because we're surrounded by – so many people that are taking this business to a high level, and each time we go, it pushes us to you know, take our business to the next level. So I think one thing that it's really brought to me was the sense of empowerment. You know, when you take responsibility for your own income, you know, that you create on your own, literally you create this out of essentially nothing, right? It's an idea, and you learn the framework, you learn the skill set, and you take this and you run with it. Um, it's extremely empowering to start to create your own income and to know that you can facilitate, you know, for your family and, you know, bring things to them that they wouldn't have otherwise. So I I think the sense of empowerment, and I always talk about that. I think it's important. I think this is an empowering business, truly. Oh, for sure. And I mean, it empowers you to be better, to do better, to, to make progress. The sense of security it brings, like just knowing, you know, that, uh, next month, I have a lot of income coming in, and if something were to happen, uh, I feel so much more secure. You know, uh, two years ago, there was no sense of security as far as that went, so it's it's uh, pretty phenomenal. And then you talk about the community. I mean, you know, uh, great people in this community, people that are are good friends and people that are so creative and energetic and right. intelligent that it just, you know, you, it just feed, it just feeds the entire community and it just enriches it. So, yeah, no, it's, it's, to- um, that's why we you know encourage people to go to the boot camp to really get a sense, you know, we're, it's a tight knit group and we're talking 
we've we've gone over this before. We're like worldwide, we have about three hundred people, uh, three hundred members in our group. So you go to a, one of these boot camps, forty, fifty people across the world that attend. That's so small, and it's such an intimate group of people. And the next one is actually in Vegas, and it's it's as uh, we got a quote here from Mark. It's actually filling up very quickly. It is. I mean, um, we only have so many spots. We'd like to keep them intimate, small, uh, engaging. You know, everybody's there. All the coaches are there. Uh, Mark, Scott, Tate, myself, you, Scott. Uh, it's just, it's just an incredible time to meet and to network and to learn how to take the business to the next level. For sure, April thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. Yeah, so. I'm excited. It's coming quick. I think there's just enough time between each of the, uh, um, each of the. Uh, boot camps you know you kind of you get inspired you go back you have enough time to make some big changes happen in your business and then it's time to get re-inspired right time to re-energize refuel and we head back exactly yeah that's exactly right and to meet new folks so uh this community is always it's, it's growing and and uh and uh it's exciting to, to hear all of the stories and uh testimonials at these things also absolutely so, yeah all right, so let's go on. How did my, you, is that a good answer? That was like pretty, that? pretty good did answer. I answer? You, had kind of, you kind of had multiple levels in this, Scott. Did I answer all of them? Uh, I want to make sure. I mean, you kind I'll, of you took I'll do one a better question. job. <laughs> I'll do a better job next week of being more precise and right, less and complicated good. for you because you've had a little bit of whiskey. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, all right. So uh, I was going to ask you uh, also tonight uh, for maybe some folks out there that are just getting into this. Like early on, what were your biggest pain points and how did you overcome those? Maybe maybe give some suggestions to those folks that are just getting started in this. Yeah, um I would say that, you know, when I first started, some of my biggest pain points, I mean, we all, everybody talks about building a list, scrubbing a list, right? Well, I was working with a mentor and a coach, and um, I just couldn't, it seems like some sort of weird magic. Like, how is this list scrubbing really happening, right? How are you actually doing this? And um, the way to overcome that is honestly just to embrace the fact that there is no perfect mailing. Uh, Scott Todd always says, done is better than perfect. I like to say, shoot first, aim later. Uh, you can really... You know this paralysis by over analysis can truly can truly happen with the uh, with the mailing particularly where you just kind of look at this list and you're like, okay, well, am I doing this exactly right? Um, you know, is you just can really question yourself. To me, that that was something in the beginning that uh, did definitely bring me some struggle. I, you know, I struggled with it. I mean, and uh, but having someone I could work with and assist me with it is how it took me over that point, right? And right. then to repeat it. This is a, a repeatable, redundant process, what we do. it's I always tell people the business is Groundhog Day. Uh, mm -hmm. It's boring. and this, So that's the good news and the bad news. The, the good news or the bad news is it's boring, right? Well, boring, right. yeah. We're doing the same thing every day over and over again. But that's the good news because that's how we use systems, automation. That's how we use uh, you know, delegation. We have VAs. This is how we take ourselves out of the business because it is such a repeatable, redundant process. But in the beginning, it, it's hard to embrace that. It's hard to understand that um, you, know, you just have to be willing to take massive action, right? And that, that right. does move the needle. Oh, for sure. Uh, you know, like we've talked about all the time, an hour or two every day, right? And uh, <laughs> it hour or two every day moves the needle. And, uh, you know, a couple, couple of years ago, I was all focused on being, you know, financially free, financially free, financially free. And we're in a great spot in our business. Something that has become really apparent to me lately is that it's not only about being financially free, but time free, yeah. right? Like Correct. this business allows you to be secure financially and then to be able to spend your time how you want to be able to spend your time. And I mean, how powerful is that? I mean, yeah. Scott Todd's like, you know, flying in the skies all day long. <laughs> uh, yes. He like, is does a he do anything except fly? Um, 
Yeah, he just you know he's like the new James Bond of the group. He's flying over, you know, trying out new restaurants, uh, you know, bringing the most incredible Valentine's Day gifts to his wife, like by taking her on a plane ride, you know, really right. making it difficult for us normal folks to really uh, compare. But uh, no, you're you're absolutely right. He 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 is, you know, a great example of what this business can do for you, right? And he was able to get that pilot's license in such a small amount of time compared to how long it would take somebody who didn't have you know, the ability to set aside blocks of time to do this. So, um, right. yeah, absolutely. Time is the it's the one thing I think we're all searching to have more of, and this business definitely creates that. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's allowing me to step back from my, my career as a physical therapist a little bit. He does have an electric bike. <laughs> no, does he have an electric oh, does bike? Does he have like yes, because Mark Mark's has an electric, the electric bike. bike. That's right. You know, yeah. there's something to said be said about being grounded. And I think Mark's hitting on that right now. Mm -hmm. To be grounded is important in life. I mean, yes, to go up to the clouds, very important. But let's not forget the other side of that equation. Grounded. Grounded is being secure and solid. I think it's a valuable point Mark's making there. Very valuable, yes. <laughs> In any event, this business is great. <laughs> new restaurants. The way Mark talks, that's a new Panera Bread at each city. <laughs> yeah, well, if you so, let's talk about any any. Uh, I was out to eat tonight, but a local, actually a local. Uh, is this an international chain? Is there a Longhorn out by you in Wisconsin, Scott? Is there a uh, Longhorn? Longhorn Steakhouse. There, you there's. Know, you know of this in Wisconsin? Well, dude, we have uh, cheese and cows here, so yes. Uh, we know our steak, but no, we do not have one here in town. We have uh, an Outback Steakhouse and a what's the name of the other one? The name of the other one? The other chain? I can't remember. Anyway, is that uh, is that your new favorite restaurant or what? No, it was just something that was convenient to go to where we were. We met up with a couple of friends, you know. Um, I'd say there's a local Italian restaurant that's my new favorite, but it's definitely not a chain. Uh, it's just a local. Um, down the road Italian restaurant and it's just phenomenal. And so, yeah. How about yourself? Anything local to Wisconsin that uh, would be a popular restaurant? Oh, come on. Not really. We don't have much in our town as far as restaurants. Some, <laughs> you know what though? We do have the most bars per capita. We were in the Goodness Book of World Records at, at one time well, across Wisconsin. <laughs> most bars per capita in the world. <laughs> So there are a lot of <laughs> watering holes downtown that are very popular. In any event, Scott. Well, speaking of time, what's your death clock look like? Are you still, uh, still well? In this? Yeah. For those who don't know, I had uh, I had this is it's kind of like momentum. Momentum's a great add-on to Chrome. You open it up when you open up a new window, and it can inspire you because it's a beautiful picture from anywhere around the world. I think death clock kind of parlayed off of momentum. And basically, you'd click on and you'd see how many days you have left to live. Now, I think it's basically built upon your birth date. So, for instance, yeah. I had about 20 more days to live than Mark did. And I think that's probably because my birthday's 20 days after his. But I actually got rid of that. I was kind of, you know, not liking the fact it was pigeonholing me into being about 75. So, right. uh, back to momentum. So, for those who are out there, it's a quick numbers tip. going down, down, down. Exactly. Momentum is a great. If you want to be inspired when you yeah, click I like on momentum. the window. Um, you click on and it shows you um, just a beautiful picture for someone in the world, a nice quote. So I've opted to go back to that. And you can create to-do lists on uh, Momentum, which is nice. Uh, so, yeah, I, I do like Momentum. All right, I'm going to ask you another question. You ready? Right. Then we're going to get our special guest on board here. All right, I like this. So so you're, you, you've been doing this about four years. I would like to know it, – it, it's different for everybody, Right. Um, but but I would like to know, like, what's a typical work week for you land-wise? Like, how many hours a day are you working in your land business, would you say? Just to give people an idea of, of where you're at four years, right, four right. years out. So my daily routine relative to the land business is probably about 30 minutes checking uh, current deals, right? So, you know, someone told me years ago, my first mentor um, – was that you should, you know, basically your time should be spent evaluating accepted offers, counter offers, I mean, and just deciding where you're going to invest your money in this business. So my team uh, 
vets all the deals coming in, prepares me basically a report and allows me to look at this. Now it's a digital stack of property. So you know, I'd say about 30 minutes each day. I'll review the properties and make sure that uh, these are ones I want to acquire if I want to renegotiate. So it's really not a lot of time that you have to spend to do that. Uh, the other part of the time will be accepting if somebody wants to make an offer on my land, uh, I will be notified and I can kind of say, yes, I accept and no, this is my counter offer. They kind of, my, my team works with me on that side. So not a ton of time, honestly. And that's the the really exciting part of the thing about the business is that, you know, each and every one of these processes or the plates that Scott Todd calls them can be automated and then connected together. And you can insert yourself or whatever place you feel to be important. Well, in my mind, it's important to decide where I'm going to write that check. So where am I going to invest in that property? So if I have 10 properties that I'm looking at, which one is going to be the hottest property I'm going to buy? And then which one's next? And which ones right. am I going to hold off on? So it's not a lot of time, honestly. Um, it's it's definitely um, something that, um, you know, it's 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 pretty exciting that, you know, you can have all the other parts of the business, uh, you know, handled by your team. And right. then inside of that, you have a small window that you can step in and make some decisions about the business. Right. Totally. Mark's all about the death clock. Yeah. And he's, <laughs> thanks, Mark. We appreciate you stopping in. And uh, we'll definitely uh, talk to you soon. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm over the death clock. I'm back to momentum. I just uh, – how about yourself, Scott? Let me let me throw that back at you. How many hours, minutes, seconds? How how many how much time per day is dedicated to the business on your end as of today? Uh, well, let's see. I mean, I'm at a point where I'm spending maybe three to four hours a week Okay. in my land business. This is I'm, – I'm not doing it full-time. I mean, I think if I was home, I would maybe be in it a little more. Try, I, I may not be quite as far as you as far as my automation goes, but it's a process, right? So right. I'm just checking one thing off the list and then the next and then the next to get to the point where I have this machine that's working for me. So, you know, three or four hours a week. Uh, that's, you know, when I started out uh, two and a half years ago, uh, I was doing 10 to 15 hours a week, probably. So uh, it's definitely gotten to the point where my income has gone this way and my time has gone this way. So that's pretty awesome. What would you say, mate, what, what's been the biggest, you know, mo um, factor that's allowed you to, you know, make that exchange, you know, more money, less time. That's kind of counterintuitive in a lot of businesses, right? Where you're right. labor intensive, more time uh, equals more money, right? So you're doing less time, but yet you're making more money. So what, what would you say has some, been some of the biggest factors that have allowed you to move in that direction? So the biggest factor is probably LG Pass and the fact that I'm able to upload a list and send out however many I want, 200, 500, 1,000 mailings at the click of a button, right? And I'm now using a third-party mailing service, which I wasn't doing initially. I think I, I was like Scott Todd in that regard. Like I was really resistant to do it for a while. I have teenagers in the house, and I'm like, they're going to help me stuff envelopes. And then, you know, I became like a manager of, of, of the teenage uh, envelope stuffers, and that was a little stressful at times, so... It was a good day for me when I switched over to Lob and I was able to use LG Pass to automate my mailings. I'm not stuffing envelopes anymore. Uh, LG Pass is a pretty amazing automated tool, and now I have VAs helping me, you know, with my due diligence and my marketing within LG Pass. So that's been huge for me. Uh, that's that's a huge, huge benefit. With uh, I think we ask anybody who's in flight school and and in coaching uh, how amazing that is. So. That's been huge uh, and, and has enabled me. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Well, wait, wait a I've thrown it on too quick. What's it enabled you to do? Spend more time? Is that less time? Is, what you're gonna, is that kind of what you're going to have with that? Yeah, that's exactly. Kind of... It's enabled me to spend less time in the business and, and more time with my family. And, and well, uh, That's definitely what it's all about. That's what it's all about, right? So I'm glad to see Aaron's on here because last week I, I, I thought I got a little too – 
you know, hard on him about, you know, the quotes and whatnot. And uh, right. he and I, we had a heart to heart. Um, oh, good. Afterwards. Okay. Yeah. And I think made up. That's good. We're in a good place now. So uh, thanks for tuning in, Aaron. We appreciate Aaron, you. you can, Aaron, feel free to comment what your nightcap is. And that's with any of our viewers. Feel free to comment with what you are drinking because we'd like to share. Yes. Andy, you're right. A lot of people use click to mail. Uh, it's a great option for people um, to automate their mailings. Yeah. So here's, and, and what he's pointing to is the fact that with the LOB, which is integrated into our LandGeek uh, proprietary automated software system, LG Pass, when you load up a list and just connect the fields, the mailing is automatic. So um, it is definitely, even though click to mail is a very nice option for mass mailing, it's just so much uh, quicker and more seamless with uh, the lob and LG Pass. Right, for sure. All right, so Mike. Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Nice, we got a wine drinker. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for commenting. Did you have uh, our guest in the lobby? I don't see him in the lobby, Scott. So, well, I'd like to get him. I, I think uh, he is watching live. So if he could go ahead and... Uh, Click the link we gave him so uh, we can get in the lobby. We and, and I'll do a short introduction here. We'll let him introduce himself also and talk about himself a little bit. But our first ever guest. First on, ever. On Nightcap with the Land Geek guys is Roberto Chavez. He joined flight school in October of last year. And he's rocking it. Uh, there he is. It's all about financial freedom. And time freedom. That's my new one, Mike. Time freedom. I like that. You like that? Yeah. All right. He's in the lobby. Roberto, are you ready? We're bringing you in. All right. Let's see how this goes. And time freedom. That's my new one, Mike. Ah, there he is. There he is. Yeah. You might want to shut Facebook right. off. It's going to give you a lot of feedback, yeah. Roberto. Are you ready? Bring um, it in. All right, let's see how this goes. So I'm in? I'm not You're sure in. I'm in. That's my new one. There he is. There, okay. there we're good. All right, sweet. Yeah, you just got to shut off Facebook in the background. It'll stop echoing on you. I'm in. <laughs> let's see how this goes. So I'm in? I'm not You're sure in. I'm in. That's my new one. <laughs> there he is. Bear with us. A little technical difficulties here. Just got to shut off Facebook in the background. There we go. I think there I got we go. it. You got it. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, there was uh, the back noise on my other Facebook tab was open. I didn't. I've never done this, so I wasn't sure how it worked. Sorry about that. It's all right. It's exciting stuff. Thanks, well, Bruno. Uh, great to have you here. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. This is uh, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. <laughs> awesome. Good. Well, hey. First off, what's your drink of choice for the evening? Well, I'm um, I'm having a beer today. So nice. Nicolas Ultra. <laughs> we should watch his calories. We should do that, Mike. We should watch our calories. Nah, maybe nah. not. <laughs> I have to work tomorrow. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not at that point in the business where uh, I can wake up at, at 9 or 10 yet, so I'll, I'll hold on <laughs> for the wisdom until in a year or so, hopefully. I'm up at, you know, the new. Uh, just so you know, new schedule. Uh, Scott, you might be interested in this. Uh, every morning I'm up and I'm walking about three or four miles. About six thirty, I'm up every day. So if you look, I'm looking a little leaner. That's why. Just... I was just to mention something about that. You're you're, you're looking good. <laughs> lean, lean, mean machine. <laughs> so Roberto, I was excited to hear some of the stuff Scott was telling me. So go ahead, let's. Scott. So I'm... yeah, Roberto, you know, give us a give us a brief intro here about. Uh, kind of how you found the Landy community and then what your experience has been because, and, and we want to hear, hear about this killer first deal that you have. Don't be shy because it's <laughs> okay. it sounds pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll start from the beginning. I, I was listening to some podcast uh, back in October or November. I, I can't even remember which one it was, to be honest. It was a, um, um, uh, a real estate podcast and Mark was the guest on the podcast and he kind of gave the the elevator pitch I, of, of of what his business is, and I just thought it was I, I hadn't even thought about it. And I'm I'm just for a little background. I'm a real estate attorney, 
but I, I never even thought about that as kind of a line of business. And so I, uh, I, I went into the website and I guess my, my leap of faith came uh, when I bought the investor toolkit, which was probably around end of November, sometime in the beginning of December. Um, and it, uh, what propelled me to buy it was, I think, just the, 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 the desire to get the, the passive income. And I know that's kind of something that Mark always talked about. And I, I mean, before I bought it, I started listening to his podcast and listening to you guys in the round table and just kind of hearing that just normal people who started this business and, and now they're living a, a different lifestyle. And I said, Hey, I mean, I, I, why can I try it? I mean, I'll, 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 I'll give it a try. And so, uh, the, the, the investor toolkit was the first step toward that. It was kind of a scary moment. It was like one in the morning and I was in front of the computer and I was like, am I really going to spend this money on somebody that I don't really know? Um, and I figured, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? And so I, I bought it and with the investor toolkit, before I got into flight school, I sent uh, a couple of, uh, of, of mailings in my county just because I figured, I mean, I'm here, might as well just start somewhere. Um, I, I, I didn't know much about the, the special, um, the county list and all those things. So I sent out my first 100 mailers not knowing what to price them or anything. I mean, I just sent them out. Um, and then I get back my first response probably like two weeks after that, the guy has the offer letter signed and I open it and I'm like, what? He signed it? Like, <laughs> wow. He just signed it? Cause I, so initially I was sending my offer letter signed. So I was signing each offer letter and it came back signed by him. And I was like, oh, wow. So this guy just decided to sell me his land for 350 bucks. Okay, I can, I'll, I'll live with that. And so we started corresponding. And next thing you know, I realized that the property that he had sold me was a five acre property in a semi developed area of the city. And so wow. I knew of a guy that would probably be interested in investing and, um, uh, it ended up being two properties for, for 350, 700 bucks for both. And I went up to this investor and I told him, Hey, I have these 10 acres. Are you interested in buying? He said, yeah. yeah. And next thing you know, the guy's offering me $20,000 for the property. I'm like, what are you talking about? I, I didn't want to act too surprised or like it wasn't the right. Offer. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I wanted well, to that. That is an it. amazing first. That is an amazing first deal. Holy yeah, I know. I, I haven't had one like that since then. But that to me, and I and I mentioned to you, uh, Scott, this before. It was uh, it was a confirmation that I had made the right decision. That 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 night, I decided to buy the the investors toolkit, and so it it felt really nice. And that that kind of just it it confirmed that this was the right path for me. That's phenomenal. That's awesome. So yeah. like what, what has your experience been after? I mean, is, has it snowballed into further good things for you? Um, well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I can't complain one bit. So I, I did flight school in uh, December, end of November, December, I think is when I did flight school uh, up into January uh, when, when we went to, to boot camp. And uh, yeah, initially I bought a couple and I sold them for cash, maybe two or three deals where I, I, I did four times what I bought it for. Um, and now I've, I've sold three on terms, which was what I wanted to start doing because that's where the, where the passive income is. And I'm, I'm actually very excited about tomorrow because all my notes are scheduled for the 1st of March. And so I, I should have around 400 bucks coming in tomorrow uh, That's on, awesome. on those notes. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see that, that come in, but, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been working great for me. I mean, there's, there's a lot for me still to learn. Um, but, but so far so good. I, I, I really have no complaints. That's great. That's phenomenal. Yeah. What, uh, 
so sorry are you are you planning on like uh you're gonna make the transition into into more passive income or what, what what's your feeling on that uh you know a lot of people when they first go into this they're they think they they don't really know what they want to do they want to do cash they want to do terms what are your thoughts on that yeah no i mean uh, uh, to me cash deals are important if i start running out of money to buy land uh, that's when I think it'll be much more important for me to to get those cash deals. But as long as I can start getting um, doing term deals, I mean, I'll do term deals every day. Um, just uh, to me, it's the the goal is to reach a certain amount amount of passive income a month. And that's the only right. way I'm going to get. So. Yeah, that's the passive income is phenomenal, isn't it, Mike? I mean, I was telling Roberto this the other day. Like, my goal is to have every day of the month have a check come in. So, like, <laughs> I have a little spreadsheet. This is my like own personal goal, and I have listed days one through thirty-one on there, or one through thirty, and I have listed all the terms deals that are coming in on day one, and day ten, and day fifteen, and day twenty-five. That's a great idea. I haven't heard anybody say that before, but I like. Oh, I really? That's- and it's a uh, fantastic idea to have it on every day of the every day yeah. of the month. Yeah. And, and like last last month, uh, I was setting up a terms deal with a person and uh, picking the date. We're, I don't like have on some to... weird. We're like on some weird date, right? Like the twenty third or something. I'm like, you okay with payments on the twenty third? He says yes. I'm like, yes. So I'm filling that calendar up <laughs> every day. That's my goal to get a payment every single day. <laughs> That's awesome. Roberto, did you say you went through flight school? Is that oh, you're in flight school now? No, I I did it already. I uh, I finished in. Well, I'm doing. I think I have like two or three office hours left, uh, kind of deal. But I but I finished the classes right before boot camp in January. Okay. What was your What was your biggest takeaway from the whole experience of uh, flight school? If you had to put it into, if you had to pick the biggest takeaway, what would it be? Um. So I, I was thinking about this because I, I figured you, you guys were going to ask me that. And I, <laughs> I, could, I could separate it into the substantive part of it. Okay, all right. And the substantive part of it. Um, on the substantive part of it, it, it was um, – it, it just – we went into so much more detail than obviously the Investor Toolkit does. And so it, it, it breaks down each step of the business. Whether it's uh, the county research, getting the list, mailing, pricing, marketing, selling, due diligence, and so to to break it up just kind of puts things a little bit more in, in in perspective. But even more important, I think, was a non-substantive part of it, which was uh, having to to knowing that you were going to meet every week and you're going to have to to tell Scott whether you were mailing and marketing and. And kind of that that accountability puts you in the rhythm of things, and more than anything, kind of sets you on a on a on a track to just continue to do it. And even though it's probably not enough time to create the the a solid solid habit, it puts you in the right track. And as long as you want to 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 create a habit of doing the motions that are required to succeed in the business, I think it it kind of leads you that way. So. To me, that was kind of looking back what I realized that it gave me that at the moment I didn't really realize because I was more focused on the details of, of how the business was, um, how to go about to, to, to get the business done. That's awesome. That, that's something about flight school, Mike. I don't think uh, we don't, we'd talk about a lot, but I mean, there's a sense of accountability with Scott Todd being your leader because he's on you about, you know, are you getting your mailings out? Are you getting your mailings out? Which is awesome. But there's also a sense of accountability in the fact that the other students going through flight school with you at the same time are holding you accountable. Right. And, right. and not only are they holding accountable, like, but like you're not alone on your journey, right, Roberto? Like there are other people going through this journey with you, experiencing the same pain points at the same time, who have the same questions about the same things. And you're able to collaborate and bounce ideas off one another. And that just, that just accelerates your learning and exponentially, I think, grows people to, to a point where it, 
you know, it accelerates your learning, but it accelerates your business too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Andy, who's been in flight school class with me, and yeah, we, we whenever we had a chance, we'd bounce ideas off each other, and there were other people there that um, you, you really don't feel alone, and you see that other people are, are like he says, embracing the suck and just kind of going through the motions, and and you know you're not alone. They're trying to to, to to figure things out, and that that just does a lot because if 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 you're on it alone, um, it, I think it's very easy to get um, uh, I don't know the disappointed or or turned off by the idea that things aren't just working the way you you'd want them to otherwise. Exactly, and. You know, that's what the investor toolkit, it, it, not that there's a lack of, in, we talk about this all the time, Mike, not that there's a lack of intel in the investor toolkit, there isn't, but it's just, you're kind of on your own a little bit more. Some people right. can do that. PJ Riley did that, man. I mean, he's rocking it. But right. other people need, you know, a little bit more. Uh, that live interaction is just. And live uh, interaction, yeah, and for I, sure. You know, we see Aaron Williams talking about how we didn't want to see the look on Scott's face. We didn't perform or <laughs> right, uh, maybe right. Schmidt agreeing here. Um, you know, it's it's the accountability. It's the fact that you're going to show up and have results. And, you know, you're not going to be the one who hasn't stepped up to the plate. And that's, you know, massive action. We keep saying it rules the day. So, um, Yeah. I definitely agree with you on that point. Sweet. Well, Roberto, any any words of wisdom for the folks out there that have been doing this just for a little while? I mean, you've only been doing this for three, four months. So no. anything you can tell those folks that are, uh, you know, that maybe they've gotten the investor toolkit and just haven't, like, executed. Or maybe they're, they've gotten the investor toolkit and they're looking for maybe just a little bit more guidance or a little bit more accountability and they're on the verge of flight school, anything that you would maybe tell them? Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's, there's nothing wrong with, with trying this out on your own maybe, but, but understanding that there's, it's like, like Mike said, even though it's a repetitive business, um, getting down what that repetition is, is not that simple. I mean, it's, it, it, not, you're not going to get it on your own, I don't think. Uh, and if you do, I think it's going to take a much longer time than if you seek assistance. And I mean, I, I, I think anybody who has it out there is smart enough to figure it out on their own. But do they want to wait a year to be where they could be in three, four months if they seek right. assistance? Or, or do they just want to, I mean, putting it bluntly, waste time learning um, and, and making mistakes and, and having to wait a little longer to show the results that they want. Uh, right. That's that's just uh, the reality of the business because in flight school, I mean, Scott would basically show us the fast track to making this work, right. which is really what, what, what you're paying for when you get into flight school. Yeah, that's that's great. That's great advice. Yeah, I hope I hope it helps people out there. And 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 yeah, it's it's fun too. I mean, it's when when you get those deals in, it's 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 exhilarating. It's just the feeling that you're making something out of what was nothing is uh, is is pretty amazing. It's a it's an awesome feeling. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling. You're gonna feel awesome tomorrow when you get that check and when you get those three checks. Yeah, that'll be. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Be a land geek or or a geek pay or however you're doing it. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing geek pay. I didn't waste time on that either. I figured I do the geek pay way to be. That's yeah. awesome. All right, sweet. Yeah, I think so, it points to the fact you know that I always tell people that this business, if you continually mail, you're going to get like these. It's like panning for gold. You're going to get flakes and flakes and flakes, but every so often you're going to get a nugget like the deal that Roberto's talking about, uh, that first one, and that. That comes to my mind with consistent mailing. I mean, you could get it out of the gate, but there's also there's there's more of those to come. But they're gonna you're gonna get those with the, with just massively mailing. You're gonna get little little flakes, which is like two three hundred percent, right? And then you're gonna get these nuggets, and they're gonna keep coming as long as you mail consistently. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That's awesome. All right, so Mike. Anything else you want to talk about? I was going to um, 
<laughs> speak to the what's up? I was going to speak to the community here about uh, little little uh, perk yeah, we have in store for our listeners. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. It's a good time. Okay, so uh, if you're with us, since you're with us tonight, uh, what we'd like to do is uh, if you folks leave a comment uh, below, uh, once a month we're going to enter names into a hat and we're going to draw draw a name out of the hat for a one, free one-hour coaching call with Mike or myself. Awesome. Okay. So uh, anybody who leaves a comment down below, we're going to put – Mike is going to put the name in the hat. You're going to do that, Mike. You're going to go through – I can handle that. that. I can okay. handle that. No. Uh, so we're going to put a name in the hat, and you're going to get a free one-hour coaching call with either Mike or myself. We could do both of us, for crying out loud. And I think uh, that might be a good idea, you know. I mean, everybody's team Bossman on the nightcap, but they, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and a free and a free gift, which we are not going to tell you what it is until we send it to you. You will, you will see what it is. Is it a deed? Oh, oh that's a good. That only Mark Podolsky hands out deeds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just testing out a new part of the new function here as the host, and I guess oh, uh, it works. Oh, okay. I see how you are. I was just testing a new function. It works. All right. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> <doesn't> it? <laughs> uh, it, that would be very arrogant of me to put Team Bossman uh, from my own <laughs> Facebook thread, so I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, thanks, Gary. Gary, let us know if you have any questions, by the way. I saw that you were drinking, uh, Mike. Did you see that comment from Gary? We should we should share what he's uh, drinking. Let me see. What was it? Oh, there it is. Founders oh, nice. Centennial IPA from Beer City, USA. Founders is that the? I think that comes out once a year. Is that the one? I don't know. I uh, my brother's a big beer. Uh, uh, you know, uh, that's way better than yeah, Nicholas so Aficionado. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's the word I was looking for. Thanks. Was it? Yeah, I couldn't. Uh -huh. Couldn't get that one just right out of the yeah, but that's the one. Um, oh, look at this! What do we got? Team, Team Nightcap. Nightcap. I like that, Aaron. It's, it's uh, we don't need we don't need anime, we don't need you know we don't need to be going back and forth with Team Mike, Team Bossman. We don't need that. We need community. So uh, what's it be a couple of weeks? I mean, we've been this is our second episode, so probably in a couple of weeks we'll pull out the first. Uh, First winner? Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, I'm thinking episode four. Episode think? four, maybe. Yeah, we'll we'll add. I don't know if we'll add people from episode one or not. I guess we probably should. What do you think? Uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> add everybody in. Of course we will. Of course I'm we will. Kidding. Of course we will. All right. Well, hey, Roberto, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me here. It's uh, it's an honor to be the first guest at uh, Nightcap. Yeah. It's, it's exciting to have you as our first guest. We have something very exciting in store next week, uh, so make sure you tune in. Absolutely. From, from the onset of the show, there's <laughs> going to be an opening. Okay. Like you have and, never seen on any Land Geek. Yeah, we're, round we're, table, yeah, we're starting to morph this. Mastermind, <laughs> anything. The and opening will blow your mind. It's fixed uh, for Wednesdays, right? Because I know you guys were debating between Wednesday and Thursdays at the beginning, but it's well, fixed. Gonna, no, it's not really fixed. Here's the thing is, still a full-time firefighter. I uh, love my job. I rotate my schedule every week. So it's a 24-hour shift. So it'll be Wednesday or Thursday, depending on what day I am out there uh, on the fire truck and having Scott on a ride along with me. God, can you bring us all on a ride along? I was voxering Scott last night. Uh, I, of course, I'm not driving. I was in the passenger side. I don't drive, and I was giving him uh, some uh, like the feeling of a ride along. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> awesome. Andy Wilmer, <laughs> that was that was phenomenal. I, I I'm coming out to Boston to do a, a ride along. Aaron Williams wants a theme song, and Andy Wilmer's uh, got to wait two minutes after opening so we can all log on. Ah, oh, Andy, this is like one of those things where it needs to happen. So maybe, Mike, we should start at 10.05. I see. Is We could put one of those is little... Is there a lag time? Is that what he's saying? Is there a little bit of a lag? 
I don't know. Maybe he's just saying he couldn't make it quite at the top of the hour or something. I don't know. Mm. Well, I think it yeah. does take a little bit because when I, I, I was kind of just waiting for it to come up and it, it, there was a little bit of a lag because when it went on, you guys were already talking to each other. So. All right. So yeah. we will create a lag at the onset of the show. We'll, we'll figure it out. Doesn't you remember how you said you, we got Gary's got a question about the simplified. Remember right. how you said you was up, Scott? Did you have an LLC when you set it up? Okay, on sir Gary's question on simplify setting up the account. What organization type do you use? No LLC or anything for me yet. I tried private party submitter with an organization name and it got rejected. Did you speak so to one of the reps, Gary. I think we spoke to the rep when we first started uh, and just asked what the business name was. They didn't ask for an LLC, but I don't know if you're trying to do it totally online or maybe. Uh, what would you did you talk to a rep, Scott, or did you try to do it online? Uh, so I did everything online, but that was that was about two years ago, probably. Uh, so I don't know if things have changed. I thought at that time you had to have an LLC, but uh, I don't think you need an LLC. But um, I will double check for you, uh, Gary, and I'll get back to you on Facebook. Okay, uh, sweet. Yeah, the website. He tried the website. He said we used a rep. Uh, we just called up. There's a rep that was local to the area. I think there's regional reps, and he hooked us up. So all he asked was for our business name back when we initially did it. So I'd try that, Gary. But uh, any other questions about it uh, specifically, hit me up on Facebook. Yeah, that goes with any of our viewers. I uh, hit Mike or what myself. What is Simply File, Scott? Maybe somebody that doesn't know. What, what, yeah, well, about? let's talk about it. What is it? All right, tell me, so, Scott. Okay, I will tell you. So Simply File is – a magical way of electronically recording deeds with counties. Many, many counties are set up to do Simply File. Uh, not all. There, there's a county in California that I work that is still snail mail, but uh, many, many counties are set up on Simply File. And let's talk about the power of it for a minute because it is pretty phenomenal how quickly you can get a deed recorded and own land. Uh, without without the mess of snail mail right mike uh i mean yeah uh, yeah it's like basically i used to have this paralysis for over analysis when i was recording your deed because you know i put it all in a little usps folder and mail it out and that would cost me about six dollars and change now right. for an extra ten dollars so about four dollars more i can record it digitally and if there's a problem with it they send it back to me they tell me i correct it i'm not double charged it's 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 really a game changer yeah, totally. And Mike, how many double closings have you done on on Simply File? I mean, well, yeah, basically, there's been times I've owned the land for like an hour, you know, and then right. it's gone. So, I mean, that's just because uh, I have the ability to record, and once it's recorded, I own it, and I can then record it in a new person and a new buyer's name. So, it's just uh, it, it's not quite a double closing, but it's as close as you can get by doing it on your own. Exactly, and and by that, what I meant is, I mean, uh, it, it's to the point uh, right where you can pre-market a lot of these properties if you have a large buyer list, right? Right. Um, and so, so if I have a signed purchase agreement from somebody, and I have a, a strong buyer list or, or people that that want property in that area, I'm hitting my buyer list right away. And there are many times when I have a buyer lined up uh, before I have transacted with the seller, uh, and. I get this. I get the deed from the seller, and I'm on Simply File, and I'm creating my deed to be notarized to the to the new buyer. And I mean, I'm we're doing it really quick. So, you know, it yeah, could be a matter of hours. It could be a day. It's uh, totally where a game changer. It really is a game changer. And you do have so, to pay the recording fee, as uh, you know, um, in addition to the Simply File fee. So it's like a ten dollars more. It's not much. And Mark's back, and he's got a great. Great point here. This is, goes down to county research, right? Why not pick the counties that are easiest to work in? And so only work in counties with Simply File will uh, function. So that just keeps your, you know, your systems very simple. So that's, a, that's actually a great point. Thank you, Mark Podolsky. He's back. He's back. He couldn't stay away. He couldn't keep away. Mark, uh, Roberto, had a suggestion, Roberto had a suggestion that you should give out a free deed uh, to someone. <laughs> <laughs> just a few minutes ago you, you'll have to go back and watch 
<laughs> All right, Mike. Hey, well, is it time for the toast? The toast of the night? Yeah, so, you know, initially we were talking about that, and I was, I guess maybe I missed her, but we're looking for like a closing, like, toast. It's got to be, right? it's got to be a motivational, motivational. Uh, I got a simple one. Do you mind if it's simple for the first time? I don't mind at all. Roberto, is it okay if it's simple? I, I'm, simple's great. Before what I like do, about it, oh, go ahead. Sorry, Scott. Before we do the toast, one more, one more little statement here to the community. If you guys want to learn more, because I was starting to say this earlier, but we started talking about Simply File. Uh, Facebook message myself or Mike. Uh, you can schedule a call with us anytime to talk about our programs at www.thelandgeek slash training. And I think Roberto would be glad to speak to anybody also, not to speak for you, Roberto, but if anybody has any questions, I always like that. I like it when people reach out to me because, I mean, I'm so passionate about it that I'm like, yeah, I'll talk to you about it. It's phenomenal. So, yeah, reach out to Roberto if you have questions about stuff too. Yeah, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I I, I think you guys could answer them better, but if, if, if people want to reach out to, to a newbie, I'd be more than happy to, to answer um, anything. That, well, you know that, what? Actually, Roberto, it's really empowering to hear some different perspectives. So I, that's why I'm really happy you came on I'm, and thankful that you came on because it's uh, – it's I, I guarantee you've inspired somebody out there who is you know, new to the business. And it just gives – when you get more perspective and you get real-life feedback – that's empowering, right? This business is empowering on all levels. And so thank you very much, Roberto, for coming on. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you, Scott. And, uh, thank, you. thank you for having me. You bet. Yeah. And good Aaron Williams. Put the deeds, witchcraft happens, record. I love it. And <laughs> Kyle Nav, look at that. Simply File saves, saves lives. lives. Kyle Nav, he was on the uh, round table. That hasn't, oh, that hasn't come out yet. That's a, that's a preview. Whoops, a little, a little, oh. little uh, little secret slip out there but uh check next <laughs> week when it comes out he's uh got a phenomenal story and uh we're very proud to have him in the community all and right i think he's i think he's somewhat team mike even though he may be slightly team tate i think he's got yeah. a little bit of team mike there too so <laughs> we, i like team nightcap i think it's a new team kind nightcap of... it doesn't really specify nobody's feelings get hurt because... exactly <laughs> a little bit more in- inclusive way. instead of exclusive. <laughs> well, yes, Kyle, you'll, you'll be able to watch the reruns. We'll be uh, on uh, Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, wait. Closing toast. Every nightcap evolves in one form or another from the resources of the land. Nice. Thanks, nice. Gary. Yeah. I appreciate that. Very nice, Gary. Very cool. All so right. does every comment get them another addition into the uh, pool? To oh, geez, I don't know about that. No, because that they, they... that's just more work for you. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> to put a comment nonstop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. Posting comments domination and the uh, nightcap. Yeah. Right, right. Well, I guess um, I'm going to say that. Uh, my closing toast, right? It's going to be something very simple. But listen, this is nighttime, right? And uh, uh, did we shut off? Did we lose him? Nighttime. He, uh, he might have closed. I don't know if he closed out or what. I'm going to bring him back. I'm bringing you back, Roberto. You can't just take off. I, I, I <laughs> didn't, stay for I the didn't toast. <laughs> you got to stay for the toast. I'm pulling you back in. Um, <laughs> this is nighttime. And the reason we started this, everybody listening, you know, is – we're going to be here every week, Scott and I. We're going to have a guest like Roberto, somebody to inspire you. And the reason is that, you know, some people during the day, that they haven't quite become to, the, you know, reached the point where they can uh, stop doing the traditional job. So nighttime, maybe with a bird in the oil and they're, they need some inspiration. This is where they're putting their hour or two of work in the land business. And we wanted to be here to kind of inspire. So rest assured, we're going to be here every week, right? We're going to be here to just bring uh, inspiration, content, just kind of reach out and, and, and inspire you to hopefully, you know, stay consistent. This business is repeatable. It's redundant. It's the same process over and over again. Just learn the process and stick to it. So in that vein, I'd like to say since we are at nighttime, uh, real simple, who said nighttime is for sleep? <laughs> That's my Cheers. joke. Cheers. Cheers. Nighttime is for land work. It's whatever. 
whatever you want it to be, right? I mean, whatever uh, you want it to be. Nobody said you have to work during the day in this business. You could have all day off and spend your one hour at night. You can do whatever you want. You make the rules. If you want to get up at 2 in the morning, so be it. You want to get up at 7 a.m., so be it. You want to do it at 2 p.m., so be it. 8 p.m., so be it. it doesn't matter. It's whenever you want to put that time in, you can do it. So uh, who said nighttime is just for sleep? I don't know. Very good. <laughs> Roberto, thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We'll be in all touch. Right. See you all next week. Yeah, I was supposed to let you be in charge, Scott, and here I am taking over again. I, I apologize. It's just how you are. It's okay. <laughs> you love the camera. All right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Cheers. Good night, everybody. Good night.